This is a special report from the Ryman Personator Show exclusive coverage of Hurricane Irma. And here's your host, Richard Olivier Jr. Hello everyone, this is Richard Olivier Jr., the executive producer and director of the Ryman Personator Show. I am still reporting here on our exclusive coverage on Hurricane Irma. Um, what has happened right now, um, my parents have decided to stay and ride out the storm. So I am now in a protective cocoon that we created, most safest place in the house, kind of uh, to protect us from any wind or debris that may um, come down. As you see, I don't know if you can see here, I have a mattress here, right here, a mattress, and um, have water. Have to have a lot of water. Um, cell phone I have, but cell phone does not work. The power went off about 8 p.m. while my mother was cooking her one of her favorite meals, and um, so cell phones did not work at all. And um, basically, um, it's been very boring. What we do in these, this is actually my first time covering a storm or first time in a hurricane um, in the Florida coast. Um, one thing you must have uh, when your power goes off, you need to get information. So you need a radio. So this radio has been basically keeping us informed of everything that's going on. You would not know what's happening in the outside world if you did not have a radio. So you need a radio. I want to definitely give a shout out to all those um, newscasters and uh, radio broadcasters for you know giving the information out because that's the only way you can get the information. And your cell phone is gone. You have no TV. Your power goes off. You go back to old traditional radio. So that was very interesting to see that I guess most most Floridians go through this. You know you have to have a radio. Water extremely important. The last, uh, we have some canned goods in here. Um, you know, I managed to save some oodles and noodles. I don't think I can cook that, but I have some um, canned goods that you can eat right out of the can. So it should maybe last a week. We don't really know. Um, some um, power repair companies sometimes service the people who have been waiting the longest. And um, so there is some system in regards to turning on your power you know, after the storm passes. So we're at the end of Irma. It's on its way out. Um, they say when you see the tornadoes coming, that kind of tells you're on the tail end of the hurricane. Ugh. Irma was a bitch. I don't even want to meet anyone named Irma or date anyone with the name Irma. Seriously. It's been crazy. Um, you know, but... This is what people experience when they make that decision to stay home and not evacuate. This is what they experience. So it's not a, you know, people have maybe experienced this with Matthew and Andrew. And this is like a, just a common thing, you know. If you choose to live in this beautiful state with this beautiful weather, this is one of the things that you have to sacrifice. You just know it's going to happen, so... New Yorkers, you're lucky. This has been an exclusive report from the Ryman Personator Show exclusive coverage of Hurricane Irma. Oh, yes, boy,